Hi, my name is Johnny Mack. I'm here at Training Station, which is in Liverpool today. I'm going to be training on back with my training partner, Connor Page. Um, you're, going to see, you're going to be seeing a lot more content from me moving forward um, as part of the full board members site and uh, my upcoming YouTube channel. Right, uh, so this is my intro workout. Uh, I'm going to be having carb powder, EAAs uh, and a hydration formula, uh, which are all going to be from Conti Sport. Um, just basically going to give you fuel and uh, energy for the workout and stop you from cramping up. The um, pushing up now, so I do get a case of back pumps. So to keep me keep me sweet as a train. Um, obviously, back end of the workout, I'll probably be putting a hip hinge movements. I'm decided yet what I'm going to use because um, I'm deadlifting now for about maybe a year, uh, maybe a bit longer than that. Uh, so deadlifts on the floor is probably going to be a bit much for the first time back. So we're going to do maybe an RDL or snatch snatch grip. Um, RDL, something like that. Uh, first movement will be a wide grip pull up, uh, just to stretch out my lats and get them nice and warm. Uh, so we're engaging lats and the rest of the movements. Right, honey, ready? Do a little bit. Yes, come on. Movement is going to be um, a wide grip pull up, um, as I said. I've used a band from fat. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> It's not really about exercising the back, it's more about stretching your lats. I've got um, a bit of a shoulder injury, so just a way in there, some that injury, and enjoy engaging your lats. Stretch your leg. Down. It's going to be our first sort of heavy uh, working movement. Um, I'm going to do a few warm up sets and I'm going to do two working sets around 10 to 12 reps. So, <laughs> so the thing about about this gym is um, a lot of sort of heritage to this gym. There's a lot of big names. You don't just come here for their name, but sort of says a lot about the gym when you're attracting people who are serious about the sport. We've got Darren Till, the Smith Brothers, another training partner of mine, Marcel Bourgeois, uh, Barry, Paul. So there's a lot of history to the gym. I think Nathan Diastri actually trained here at one point. So, the um, long sort of line of people who've got walked through the gym. Um, so we've got a, a history wall full of photos of people who've trained in and out of the gym to visit. It sort of speaks volumes about the environment that you're in. Ah. Thank you. 
massage we're gonna do. <laughs> what are we doing? No, um, so our next exercise we're gonna do a T bar row. Uh, so there's some machines taking it, so we'll give them a couple of minutes and then I get into how I do it and why I do it that way. I'm done. Right, this is probably the most humbling T bar row I've ever used. Um, so my placement here, obviously you could stand on the, the foot plate. For me, that's gonna put me too far over, over the bar. And then I'm gonna end up pulling to here. So I'm gonna stand on the framework. This is what I do. Uh, obviously it's gonna depend on your height. <laughs> it just allows you to jam the elbows into your lats. So you're gonna get a better lat activation as opposed to a a faithful way you're going to hit more your traps than your rear delts. So our next movement is going to be uh, just a seated cable row. Um, this is a specific way that I'm going to do it to target my lats. Again, similar to the similar to the chest supported uh, T-bar row. Just going to look at jamming jamming our elbows into our backs. So you see people here, and they go, "Well, I'm not just here. It's in every gym." They're going to go, "What? Oh, like this? Fucking! What are you doing? You're hip hinging, You're taking all of the tension out of your back." And you're working, you're, again, you're working, 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 you're working,
you put it first, you pretty much from the exhaust for the rest of your workout. So we're going to do it now. Uh, sort of finalise our, our, our back workout, and then we'll finish on some biceps. Hope that explains things. Right, so we're just going to move on to some biceps now. Uh, I've got eight chain arms, find them four on his foot. Um, so, uh, let's say, find them four on his foot, but it's something that you have to do. Obviously, I need to bring the arms up for sheer. So, I'm going to do a curl out, alteration, and some form of hammer. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and do CT. Dumb old curls as a shuttle round. So we do five fives, uh, and then our next movement is going to be more high volume, high reps, and do rope hammer curls for a set of 20. So. so uh, you do them seated. You're gonna take out the swings, you know, oh, like this. And sit down, full stretch, push fees, do five fives, five on each side, five times. So warm, set that, yeah. Wrapping things up now, uh, finish training back. Obviously, everyone always wants to know what you have post workout. That's pretty simple. Uh, we've got 50 weights of ice, 50 grams of whey isolates, and we've got 200 grams of cereal. Uh, my choice of cereal is um, Choco Shells from Aldi, <laughs> and uh, special almond milk, and that's us. Thanks very much for joining us today, uh, and stay tuned for more content.